This is the um, Calabrian pipe after George Ostella. George Ostella immigrated to help in Utah in 1903. In a 19, sometime in the 1920s, he um, carved this style of pipe, and um, the uh, fellow that paid him for the pipe in, on order um, ended up never claiming the pipe. So both uh, sets of pipes passed to his grandson, Francesco, and in um, the, the late 1980s, I actually got uh, Francesco's pipes up and running with new reeds and new bags and so on. So anyway, in 1992, Hector Bazanas, who's a very fine instrument maker, uh, and turned uh, a copy of the 1920 style set for me, and uh, just in time to go off and do an Italian dance uh, spectacular in, in the uh, International House in the University of Chicago. This is 1992, ancient history. Anyway, um, this uh, this pipe uh, is the norm standard size. Some of them are a little bit smaller, some of them are a little bit larger, but we'll get into the larger size in just a minute. This is uh, what it sounds like without the high drone you have a plug, you unplug it when you want to when I have a, li a little bit more sound coming out. possession recently from uh, an old Piper's estate in Upper State New York and obviously Calabrian but the largest Calabrian pipe I've ever seen. Uh -huh. 